You know, we live in the age of miniaturization, where we're talking about Moore's Law, increases in transistor density every 18 months, shrinking, shrinking design features. But we've only just recently come out of the age of innovation in terms of enormous machinery, going back to the dawn of the industrial age almost 250 years ago. Check it out. I mean, this tractor was state of the art when it came out 100 years ago. This steam traction engine was made about 1886 by the Altman and Taylor Company in Mansfield, Ohio. These self-propelled traction engines move from farm to farm under their own steam. This, is, this has a 12 horsepower steam traction engine and it was used to operate large threshing machines at harvest time. Now the scythe is an iconic symbol. We see it with death but it's also been an iconic tool for thousands of years, since probably well before even the Iron Age, to harvest various kinds of agricultural products. It wasn't until the middle of the 19th century that a better mousetrap was conceived to replace the scythe. This is Ambler's patent mowing machine, a horse-drawn device made about 1836. While it's not the first harvesting machine to be invented, this device is probably the oldest surviving harvester in existence today. Enoch Ambler invented the machine for cutting grass or grain by horsepower, quote unquote, in 1834, but over a decade would elapse before a significant number of harvesters would be manufactured for sale. Strolling through the Henry Ford Museum, to check out innovation going back more than a century, we have come across something that is utterly fantastic. Check this out. This is an American cow milker patented in 1865, the end of the Civil War. Check that out. And you know something? That patent has been milked for all it's worth because that's the same essential design in 1865 that's used today.